Mr. Speaker, I use this occasion to commend the Electoral Commission and its chairperson, Charlotte Osei, for the conduct for the conduct of our recent elections, which has received domestic and international acclaim. In the coming years, I hope that our electoral processes will become even more robust so that free and fair elections become automatic parts of our democratic culture. Mr. Speaker, certain incidents occurred during the transition period that are matters of concern to me and should be to every Ghanaian as they marred an otherwise dignified and successful transition. Wrongdoing has no political color and I do not subscribe to the lawlessness of political party supporters simply because their party has been elected into office. Mr. Speaker, when those incidents began, Order. I instructed the then Inspector General of Police, John Kudalo, to apply the law, irrespective of political affiliation, to all lawbreakers. This instruction was also carried on to his successor, David Asante Apietu. Both of them acted upon it, which helped to bring the situation under control. It appears these events were predicated on some concept of equalization as they happened in 2009 and were repeated again in 2017. I condemn all such conduct and I call on all political parties, especially the New Patriotic Party and the National Democratic Congress, to ensure that this is the last time such undignified acts occurring due our periods of transition.